Namaste, family of light. See, the showers did not keep you away. I look at showers and I consider them blessings. Blessings. And most certainly when the effort is made, there is such a divine grace that comes along with that. So I want to say uh, uh, good morning. And um, a lot of stuff happened this morning, which was, you know, our programs are so fantastic. They're so beautiful with the prayers. And we're so happy for people to have them. But ever so often, we don't have any left. <laughs> so um, I actually realized that. And I was to get copies before, but that didn't happen. So I attempted to get copies today. And I went to Staples. And I see they printed it out completely wrong. But that's OK. When these things happen, we just breathe and we continue to move forward. Because no matter what, and I do have something special that's coming in, you know, every now and again, not all the times. But as I'm driving, or there's a theme, and something quite powerful happened fairly recently um, that some of you are exposed about the royalty, OK, the royalty, uh, that that energy has come in. So it most certainly is going to be for this service. And we'll see how it all unfolds. None of this is rehearsed. It's all in the moment. And uh, we work, of course, with Yamisha Dai, with the family of light. So let us first start off with a blessing. Blessed are they who seek the light, for light shall be given in greater measure. Blessed are they who give up the energy of light, for they shall know the increase. Blessed are the children of light upon the earth, for theirs is the reward of the redemption. For the children of light are given the work of lifting the planet out of its state of darkness. So the increase in their own vibratory rate as it emanates from their being into the ethers. As ye are lifted, you will draw unto the self that one who seeks. The child of light is thereby the servant of the Most High, and it is so. Amen, 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 and amen. I behold the healing nature of the divine radiating through me and activating my heart chakra. I behold all the beings who surround me with love and offer me their spiritual support. I reject those not of the divine host who want only to control me or have me control others. Once I have surpassed this temptation, I can see clearly enough to behold the all penetrating divine eye which continually watches over me, whether it be from the divine host or directly from the powers of renewal and transformation from the Supreme One. I see in this vision how the divine is guiding me and directing my every action and I lack nothing because you have helped me and I am no longer alone. Okay, and so we're going to start. The energy is already present and strong, but we are um, going to sing the hallelujah, hallelujah, which mm -hmm. is glory to God. I'm going to ask of our beautiful Reverend Robin will come forward. And uh, also just to mention, for those of you that may be here for the first time, uh, this is a lambdoma. Doma. And I think in the program that you have that's all mixed up, it's not the way it really is, but I'll, we'll work through it. It talks about the lambdoma, and we have it at 528 hertz, which is the unconditional love frequency. So the whole idea of this healing is coming from the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. It's the highest frequency, okay? And all the icons that you see from long ago, they all point, all right, like <laughs> Lord Lanto, to the heart. That's the way back. It is through the heart. In all cultures, all religious ideologies, it is coming back through the heart. So we're going to raise the vibration by using what? Our voices. Because sound creates. And when you become aware of that, and we do use the names of God here, which is extremely powerful. You do it with an understanding of the power that it has, because we are co-creators. And the frequency, which is part of this enormity that we cannot even wrap our minds around, but your tone is recognized. Can you imagine that? And all that it is, they know that tone came from Vincent, came from Ildigo, came from Leva, 
you know, it came from Jill, okay, for all of us, that tone is unique to us. So when you do it with much reverence and of course humility, when you understand what this is. So when you say the hallelujah that we're going to do now, you literally, with the intention, we're going to raise the frequency. This is going to be a powerful, already know, it's, they're all powerful. Okay, but this one is like a little golden diamond terrera uh, powerful one, okay? Um, and uh, we, we, by our voice, by our intention, and for those of you that are watching this from home, welcome you, know how powerful you are, wherever you are, we are connected now in heart and mind. So we have become a singularity. This is we have become a sun right now, radiating, okay? And what we're gonna do in this higher frequency is bring in, we are the bridge between heaven and earth. Everybody's playing this role. And then the service will go from there. So let's start, everybody stand. Let's, the sun is out. Let's sing with, uh, with vigor and smiling. And think of all the blessings that you have right now. Think of all the blessings and let's sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 one more time, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody's waking up. <laughs> Have a seat, please. If you look in your program, the first the first sheet is correct. Now it talks about getting our program, and we went to Staples, and they really didn't get it correct. But we'll work around it, and it's all good. So we are now going to say the great invocation, and see if you can find that in this new program. You can tell me if you see the only oh, show. I don't know. Do we have a new program? Is there an extra one or they're all gone? It is, here it is. You found it, okay. It starts at the bottom of the page, the building up the energies of the whole Thank temple. you, Lee, would you just direct everybody where to find it? So there's a page with a big paragraph called building the temple, building the energy of the whole, and it's at the very bottom, it starts. Okay, the thank you. Third page, okay. The Great Invocation of the Mantra for the New Age in Humanity. This is the 1945 original version. This is the great work of, well, Dewal Kool, known as Tibetan. Ascended Master Dewal Kool channeled this to Alice Bailey, who, of course, is the great work of Theosophy, where we had William Meter here, William Meter, who uh, has taken this enormity of work and put it to bite size. Uh, pieces so, so we can find and integrate it. But when I always say the great invocation, I think of those who've come before us that have held the light just as we are doing, okay, to be here, okay? And 
you know, a lot of times I know what's out there in the world. It's like, oh my gosh, but guess what? What if white workers did nothing? Do you, where do you think we would be? We wouldn't be in an open assembly praising God in the way that we praise God. This would not have happened. It would have to have gone underground like many things are. So the fact that we have the opportunity, at least in this country, not in all countries, but in this one, to be able to express, you know, our love of God, okay, in the way that we have it in our hearts. So I always think that how important they've held the light for us, and we have to continue to hold the light. So let us all say the great invocation together. From the no, point of light mind. within, within the, mind the mind of God, let the light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of life and the love life work out, and may it seal the door for evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. And I want to mention something here because I just thought about it when I said it. I've been saying the great invocation, I don't know how long now, but for about decades and decades and decades. So when I first so the invocation as part of my ministry way back, way back, way back when. I remember reading this part that said, from the center where the will of God is known, the purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. I never understood exactly what that meant. Now, what, what, what is it that the masters know and serve? Okay. And as you move on your spiritual path, and for those awakening or have awakened, and we're all on our journey, together see you know, I don't quite understand this like these huge bodies of work I don't understand it but as you continue to move forward the time comes where you do understand it I know exactly what the masters uh know and serve because that's what we're doing there is a divine plan absolutely there is things can't be like the way they are over here there's an evolution and there's many other dynamics involved, but at the end of the day, there is a higher vision, a higher plan. And they talk of redemption and what does all of that mean? That's saying, remember, remember, you come from a very high aeon of light. Remember who you are. We are in a world of, of the Hindus call Maya, the world of illusion. We think that this is all there is. Okay, and some people so locked into that. And I just wrote a blog and would have put out called Waking Up Out of the Dream. We begin to understand that we're so much more than this physical, mental, and emotional body. And so that is part of the divine plan is to awaken us up to re-remembering who we are as these magnificent spiritual beings of light. Okay, and to bring healing to the world and balance to the world. Okay, and, and the ending of the, of the, you know, suffering and all that's going on, that's all played out now, whatever lessons need to be learned from that. I think many of us got it. Humanity doesn't need to go with this repeat cycle over and over again. So we're trying to break out of this cycle, this cycle of rebirth, okay, and going into a world of unbalanced duality. That's basically what we're trying to do, because it's a higher frequency that we are aspiring to, because we remember that. There's a part of us that remembers that. So that is part of the redemptive idea about it is us getting back to that. So this is always though that when you do say prayers or say words, okay, that you do it consciously uh, understanding the impact uh, because it makes a profound difference in terms of your intention and the very words that come out of your mouth. And so now we are going to do the Ea Asha Ea, which is the oldest name of God in the GDO Christian records. Uh, very powerful. So when you say I am, always remember to follow that with a positive uh, word. It's, it's, it's a great, uh, very powerful. And then we will do the Kadoish, Kadoish, Kadoish. I don't know if some of I will say that. Uh, congregation will say it in English. And then we'll do uh, love and light, um, peace and harmony, joy and shalom. Ea Asha Ea. 
I am that I am. Aya Asha Aya. I am that I am. Aya Asha Aya. I am that I am. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Sabayo. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Sabayo. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Sabayo. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. Let love and light, peace and harmony, joy and charity be in this place now. Okay, and so now we're going to sing the Lord's Prayer. And this is what um, Jesus the Christ <laughs> is referring to God the Father as Abba uh, to say this prayer. And we're going to say it in Hebrew. And hopefully everybody has found that. Page four. Page four. Thank you. We're going to sing it a cappella. And just follow along. Those are new. Just follow along. It's uh, fairly easy. Avinu Use the forgiveness prayer and leave it. Can you tell me it's a forgiveness prayer in that program? Okay. Yes, it's right below the Lord's Prayer. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, this is an opportunity to reiterate again consciously what we are doing because we are awake or awakening. So there's three fundamental um, round stones, if you will, of the Open Heart Divine Healing Service, which came about actually through the energy of Metatron and the Shekinah of the Holy Spirit. That's the energy that circulates here. And this is even before I had any idea of the connection between the two. And without going into the whole, whole story, the key factor is we do need 
some intervention for healing because we are these amazing interdimensional beings. We have no idea, okay? But the star regulus could be a situation there from who knows the multiverse that only the highest beings of love and benevolence can say, oh, this is the part of the healing, which maybe has nothing to do with you say, well, my wrist hurt. That wrist hurts can be connected to something that you don't even have an idea of. So we're not at that level, nor we're close to that level. So I can heal myself. We can affirm to say, I have positive thoughts. I've watched my food and so forth. But there's a lot more layers going on. That is why we call for divine intervention. The Amisha die, the family of life, the whole life beings that come here, the angelic realm, the divine radiant ones, okay, uh, the ministering um, angels. There's so many. There's so many levels of consciousness out there. But what we draw in is the light, is the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. It is truly the love and light that heals all things. And so... To do this, our hearts must be ready. And why are we doing 528 hertz? There's a whole bunch of hertz. But the 528 is the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. And you have higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. That means that you must forgive. You must forgive. That is the cornerstone, is forgiveness. And I've had many, many people come up to me and they say, you know, Barbara Sharon, I have tried to forgive, but I just can't do this thing it's just too hard and i get it because i had a new level of forgiveness not even or healing in my heart that i was even aware of so you go work it wasn't working i had a profound healing when i came back from mount shasta but what you do is you put forth that intention say i'm going to try to forgive some people say okay i'm going to forgive i'm going to forgive but this is what i would tell everybody you just look at the world and what the world has been we're all just trying to make it. A lot of people say, oh, my parents, I get it. Well, what about their parents? What about the traumas? The traumas of the planet in general. The fact you could walk a straight line and try is big. So when you have this higher understanding, no matter how hurtful that situation is, and oh, this is a world of hurt and woundedness, no doubt. But are we going to stay stuck for that? And guess who's praying that someone in the lineage is going to get it and start forgiving everything and everybody? Our ancestors. They're like, we need to get out of this pattern. We're hoping that our descendants or some in the lineage will say, you know, let's forgive all of that. Let's do a prayer. Let's light a candle. I've done that for my family on both sides. Both sides had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Okay. And so I want to tell you and reemphasize again, you know, how powerful forgiveness is. Now, I'll tell you something else. As you start the practice of forgiveness, and it'll take some time depending on what the situation is. And sometimes there's things there that are still hurtful that you see. And it's still the intention of just saying, you take a deep breath and you just say, I'm sending love and light. I'm sending, I have to do that. I have a situation. Which in a minute I think of this person I'll have a negative, it just comes automatically. It's been so ingrained <laughs> and I have to say, stop it. No, no, no. And deprogram that automatic default that I've had and start to use alchemy to change that. Okay, so it takes a little work, but the foundation is forgiveness. Absolutely. And all I can say is you do it. That's wonderful. There are layers and layers and layers of it. But also, if you're having difficulty, call for divine intervention to assist you. And the other thing I want to mention that is for this service is that, and it's very important, is that you have to understand you're worthy of healing. You're worthy of love. There are so many people out in the world, I don't have to tell you that they think they are not worthy of anything, they're not worthy of love. You know, they're they're wounded, they're victims. They're... The fact is that, that is the biggest lie. That is one of the biggest miscreations used to manipulate humanity. The fact is that 
we are worthy by the fact that we exist. We come from the Adam Kadmon, okay, the divine human, okay? And legend has it, there was some groups upset because we were so the image of the divine. We hold the image and the similitude. That's that higher part of us that keeps on moving forward, that tries to whisper and say, go forward, you're so much more. This is what it is, who you truly are, beloved one, beloved one. There are consciousness out there that look at the humanity on this planet and they're like, bravo, bravo, coming into this physical incarnation, doing it is that we do. Many of us sitting here chose to come in here to help. If you listen to your words, you are a light worker, star seed, wanderer. You chose. And why did we choose? Because we have the capacity to hold a higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. Not for the weak of heart at all to be here. So there's a great respect and honoring and other levels of consciousness as to who we are. Everybody knows it except us because that Maya, that illusion is that thing, but we're piercing through it. And then finally, the third thing for healing is that you have to be open to it. So somebody that comes in with their hands crossed like that and said, prove it. Well, that's not going to happen because guess what? You are so powerful. If you believe you're going to be healed, you'll be healed. And if you believe you won't be healed, you won't be healed. That's how powerful we are. So I would get on the boat that says, hey, I'm at least open to healing in any way that it comes. We can tell you, okay, there have been times and with Robin and others that we were not doing all that great, but that seems like a hundred years ago now. We're way beyond that. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Is it worth getting on this path? Absolutely it is. So keep that in mind when we say this very powerful prayer. The prayer of personal forgiveness. Let's all say it together. And for those that are online, just listen and attune. I bless this day and give thanks for my life. God, I am your child, your humble child. I give you my love and thank you for your constant love and blessings. God, I ask that you help me forgive and release completely and totally all the people who have hurt me. Through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help all people I have hurt through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing, to forgive and release me completely and totally. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help me forgive and release myself completely and totally for all the times I hurt myself or hurt others through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help all life forms I have hurt in any way, at any time, to forgive and release me completely and totally. Please, God. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I ask that you help me to be forgiven and released completely and totally for all my hurts or wrongs to the earth and the life of the earth through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing. Please, God, please, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God. With this release, freedom, peace, power, and new life, I bless all creation in the entire universe and fill the entire universe with my love. I love and bless the earth, all I like and all humanity. I love, bless, and respect the visible and the invisible. I rejoice and give thanks for my new life, power, and health, and give complete blessings and love to all life always. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And now if you'll go to the front of your program.
we will sing the come pray with us holy spirit come and pray with us holy spirit who some names of God, then we will do a meditation before we go into We're going to start with the yellow page, okay? Uh, which is in Hebrew. Why are we singing in Hebrew? Because Hebrew is one of the five sacred languages in this creation or on this planet. So we have Hebrew, Sanskrit, Tibetan, Egyptian, and Chinese. And there's variations of that from those root uh, ones, but they are the, the light, you could say the light languages. So that is the reason why we um, sing in Hebrew only for the Western mind. It's a little bit easier to do that. Of course, Hebrew is from right to left. Yod, hey, Rod, hey, the ineffable name, the aspects of God. We do do the names of God. We're going to start that back in month, this month. Uh, in Hebrew, every other Thursday, we never really did advertise it, but we're going to start to get it out a little bit more. And um, Archangel Michael, uh, his ancient name meaning Mika Elilu shows up and say to do this important work. So um, we will uh, keep you posted with that. But right now, what we're going to do is <clears throat> Yod Hey Bod Hey. See it in your program. Yod Hey. Okay, Yo, hey, 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 hey,
of our existence. Let us be of one mind and spirit to allow the physical body vehicle to be open to this teaching as we pray. Divine Father, Divine Mother, you who have given us your holy names, especially the divine Hashem, yod Hey bod Hey, that is the basis of the personal Abba, Father, which Jesus used in the Lord's Prayer. Allow us to use your holy names, El El Elyon, the Most High God, in order that we may activate our calling within the divine family of light. Allow us to sing your holy names in the presence of the great archangels, ultra terrestrials, and other light intelligences, so that we may be blessed together. We ask for the blessing and the sign of Michael, who works with the Ainsaw, the limitless divine light, who works with Adonai Melech Mashiha, the one who brings the lordship, kingship, and messianic power. May the lordship of the greater light dimensions be activated within us, and may we reflect the kingship as part of the king of kings as we put our crowns of light, Kepha or, and become activated as the seven seal opens. Allow your messianic power to be given to each of us that we may partake in the power of the Holy Spirit and offer up the kingdom of man with the angelic ones and with the office of the Christ. Allow us to re-energize ourselves so that we may be part of the divine triplet, the Father who administrates, the Son who delivers, and the Holy Spirit who reveals and recycles the power of grace of the ain't soul, so that our body, mind, divine soul may be of one unity. O oh, Divine Father, we bless your name and majesty. May the vibrations that connect all the temples of the world be connected with our body, the living temple, so that the message of Christ may be fulfilled. Just as, as the physical temple was transformed upon the earth in three days, we who are your temple of spirit have now come to activate the living capstone and cornerstone and to reactivate the light garment. Allow your temple of spirit to connect all the temples, all the churches, all the ashrams of the world in this awakening of the foundation stone, the rock of salvation. In this we call you Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Lord of the hierarchies who lives eternally. Amen. 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 And, amen. and now <clears throat> we're going to ask you to pay the 528 perks. Or do we have any more? Is there anything? <clears throat> I think we have any more. 
two oh, other people. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Do we have any more programs? Who may be out? Okay, this list and the energy will be fine. That's fine. <laughs> We could play 528 perks and just the uh, meditation. This past week, I received the insight, a download, an impression, whichever way you want to call it. And it is a frequency that I want to share here. I talked about it before, but it's a very real frequency. And for those who are here hearing these words now, this is for you. As we spoke about this world of Maya, world of illusion would have you think that this is all there is in this world and somehow you're born into the circumstances you're born into and this is how it always has been and will continue that you really don't have that much power or the ability to change the way things are or still bounded by fear which has been the great manipulator throughout ages and ages of time. But there is a great awakening that is happening now. And we are beginning to wake up out of the dream. We're beginning to remember who we really are. That we are so much more than this physical, mental, and emotional being. That we have the spaceship and traveling on spaceship Earth. And we have our earth suits on as we travel throughout the cosmos, but also in our consciousness. But we also realize that this space suit, earth, can come off and we get another one. It's off and we get another one. But who is it that is coming into the space suit Earth. What is that? Begin to realize that there's a higher part of ourself that is the observer. And we're beginning to tap more into this higher part of ourself, this higher consciousness, to have a broader view and a higher and larger understanding. And so what is beginning to come upon the sacred earth? Now, more towards the masses, the masses of people, not just for the few, is the memory of royalty. Indeed, beloved, it is most of us that come from the royal priesthood of Melchizedek. They are the royal prayers. The word royal. R-O-Y-A-L. Royal. And a program that has been set for millennia is somehow you are not worthy. That as you live this life, hopefully you move on to another one and things are better. The fact is that we are the admin cadre. We are encapsulated in space to earth. And the time is now as we work this earth to assist in her ascension as we begin to awaken as to who we are and raise our frequency, our consciousness, and our outlook to a higher, higher horizon. Because we each play a Role in the ascension, in the divine plan. So it is now time to put emphasis on Kepa, the crown. As the seventh seal opens, 
see here now in your spiritual eye that there is a great golden light above your crown chakra. In Kabbalah, the higher chakra systems is Metatron Melchizedek Mika Anil. That gather here now for the children of light. Each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath is precious as we remember. We breathe the breath of Brahma. We breathe the breath of the divine. And we begin to see in our spiritual eye, above a purple hue, a golden hue, the cosmic Christ consciousness coming in a golden, brilliant color. Indeed, what that is, it is the crown of Kepha. It is our golden crown. See very clearly, beloveds. That this magnificent crown, encrusted in the most precious of minerals, it has been created with the utmost perfection. There are no flaws in it whatsoever. Its beauty is outstanding. And this is upon and above your hands. Indeed, beloveds, is it not this great light that the Magi went to find the Christ child? And now the activation of the Christ light, the cosmic Christ, remembering the royalty, who we are, where we come from, the Admon Kadma, we are the image and the similitude of the divine. Through this energy and frequency, piercing through the illusions and the delusions, the miscreations, piercing through to the paradise worlds, the crystalline worlds, the worlds of Shambhala, the worlds that are free in the expression of the divine, in oneness, in wholeness, we breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath as we fill our souls in the frequency see that pours in. As we are totally illuminated by this crown of glory that we now hold, we now tap into, and we now remember our place in this world, not as someone who does not know unawakened in space to earth, but an awakened being of the cosmos. From that perspective, from that perspective, as we align the cosmic Christ consciousness through the symbology of this magnificent crown, with the remembering of the royalty that is so beautiful and perfected, coming in from realms that we are re-remembering what that is like. We now wear our crowns of glory for it to illumine our way, to re-remember who we are, to access healing, balance, and love and to serve at our highest capacity in this earth and beyond the earth. And in this doing here right now, we call upon great healing. My mind, emotions, and body are being cleansed. My mind, emotions, and body are being cleansed. My mind, emotions, and body are being cleansed. I am assimilating divine healing energy. My chakras, meridians, and every particle in my body are being cleansed. 
Every particle in my body is being cleansed, energized, and healed. I acknowledge the Amisha Dai, the family of life, who are present here, who work with us in this divine intervention, coming from unconditional love and higher service and love for the divine. <clears throat> We breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath, breathing the breath of Brahma, breathing the breath of God. As our crowns of light and glory continue to expand, we see the higher vision of ourselves as perfect beings filled with love, gratitude, being of service to others in many, many ways, finding that great joy, that deep joy that only can come from unconditional love. I forgive all those who have caused me injury and pain that is now falling away out of all aspects of my being that no longer matters, I forgive, 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 forgive. I release myself from bondage to all hurts. I release myself from bondage to all hurts now. I release myself from bondage to all hurts. I humbly ask forgiveness for all my mistakes. I am at peace and filled with love. I am at peace and filled with love in this moment. In this eternal now, I anchoring the Azi Shalom, the higher peace, the unshakable peace. My body, mind, and emotions are becoming healthier and healthier and healthier. I am superconductive to divine healing energy. In the name of love, in this moment, in our crowns of glory, as I align to my higher self, I remember that I am love, and therefore I, I am released of all constructive memories. In the name of love, I am released of a lifetime of restrictions. In the name of love, I am released of the expectations of others. In the name of love, I am released of old negative energy patterns. In the name of love, I am released of restrictions of the collective unconscious. In the name of love, I am released of the old, worn out songs that no longer vibrate to me. In the name of love, I am released memories of fear in any way, in any form. In the name of love, I am released of generational inhibitions. In the name of love, I am released of old constructs that no longer serve me. In the name of love, I am released of old tribals that no longer serve me. In the name of love, I am released of old tribals that have inhibited and constricted. In the name of love, I am free to feel and hear that all is well. In the name of love, I am free to meet each day in abundance. In the name of love, I am free to greet each dawn, sunbeam, and experience with childlike exuberance. In the name of love, I am free to tend to my own garden. In the name of love, I am free to create my own truth. 
Say, only Yahweh will thank us. Ani Yahweh Wofeka. God is the source of infinite healing. The one who can eternally restore our perfect life force. This power has been associated with the healing race of the Archangel Raphael, who brings forth an energy medicine of light for the restoration of our being. The divine heals not only the imperfections of our physical body, but the divisions of our spiritual body, bringing healing between all levels of separation, including the religious split that separated Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the daughters of religions that trace their origins to the same revealed book of Genesis of the living God. Ultimately, it is the bringing forth of the true and pure light emanations containing the perfect blueprint, which restores us to our purified and threefold nature of body, mind, and spirit existing in perfect alignment. So we're going to say Ani Yahweh Wofeka, and I'll start as Kentor. Ani Yahweh Wofeka. Ani Yahweh Wofeka. Ani Yahweh Wofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. The God that heals me. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. Remember the words. Ani away, Rofeka. Their power. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. God that heals me. Ani away, Rofeka. 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 Continue. Ani away, Rofeka. Most precious and exalted Lord who heals. Examine my physical and spiritual nature with thy penetrating insight and restore my soul. I call upon thee, Ani Yahweh Rofeka. To heal all whom I am thinking of at this time. Hear and grant my prayers and request. May thy healers of all sickness, suffering, and imbalances that bring a complete restoration of health and body, mind, and spirit to people throughout the world. May thy healing powers protect. Protect and preserve us and those of the animal kingdom in the face of mass planetary change. I pray now in this moment, especially for those who need thy blessing, at this time that they will be completely healed through your divine healing emanation. If it be thy will, bring forth that divine intervention. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. The God who heals. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. Ani away, Rofeka. I visualize now the emanation of healing power from the heart of my higher self. Restoring and replenishing me in my time of need. I see the perfect power of unconditional love being sent down to me and all of my friends who are now being restored into perfect beings. 
and the healing rays of the divine. The restoration power flows through the divine and the over self, the higher self body that we each possess and restores us according to the perfect blueprint of the divine codes from which we came. Let us now see and experience the perfection of creation coming forth so that we share in the similitude of the radiant light and love may be cleansed and healed by the holy waters of divine consciousness. Sense and feel the energy that pours in as you utter this sacred name. Remembering that Moses parted seas by knowing the vibrations of the sacred sound. Ani 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 the energy is pouring in. Let us simply be quiet. I'll ask Mother and Father if she would play softly 528 hertz. Simply breathe in the Ani Yahweh Rofeka that is coming in through the light crown of the Christ consciousness. Breathe with intention. Breathe with intention.
A moment to bring your awareness into your physical, mental, and emotional bodies. And on the count of three, we will be awake, alert, and very grounded, knowing that this frequency of the Ani Yahweh Rofeka will continue to work in, through, and around you. we have all been blessed with the overlighting of these codes of healing from the divine. It will be expressing itself in the way unique to you. Be open and aware of the subtle insights that come from your higher intuition and the divine guidance that will be leading you in your continued journey of healing, wholeness, and oneness. One, two, take a deep breath in, and three, in your back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. Well, this is all done as a collective, so you all are very powerful. That's all I want to tell you to bring in this uh, life stream of the Ani Yahweh, Rebecca, as strong as it did. It's, it was continuing to build up, but when we went into meditation, it looks been very, very strong. So that's why we just were silent. Um, Some still integrating it. Take your time. It's fine. And continue to integrate. In the meanwhile, I want to thank everybody who got these imperfected. Um, <laughs> as I mentioned before, some of you didn't know, but um, you know the prayers in here are so beautiful, and people do take them, and that's that's fine. You know, we we.
you just need some. And I realized we were low on them. So early this morning, I stopped at Staples to get these um, printed off, but it was printed incorrectly. So that's why you see it all botched up. But um, anyway, next the next Open Heart Divine Healing Service will have them in the correct order. So um, can we take these with us no, then? No, I'm taking them to Staples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them to Staples. And the machine got this all out of coordinated. So yeah, but then for the next one, uh, we'll collect these and then we'll um, we'll uh, bring them back. I do have some announcements that I want to share as we start to kind of get back over here. Um, I want to let you know that we do have. Uh, two study groups, new ones going on right now. We do have one that has been ongoing, and that is uh, with the Hebrew letters with Reverend um, Liba. Uh, that's been ongoing, but that is now a closed group. But we do have two new study groups that are available. One is the Pistis Sophia. Okay, the Pistis Sophia, it is the work of JJ, not the work of JJ Hurt. He does a commentary, the Academy of Future Science does a commentary on this Gnostic Gospel. I would say that the Pistis Sophia for me has been one of the most profound readings I've had. It's all about the risen Jesus. The risen Jesus. He comes back. He talks to his disciples, Mary Magdalene, uh, Salome, the whole group of them. They're asking like a hundred different questions. What happens after this? He goes into time travel at different levels. It's an amazing and um, very powerful book. So it is a study group. Um, it's not light reading at all. Uh, so it's really good to do it in a, with a group. And we have Kim Converse, who has been uh, with Dr. Hurtak for over 35 years. So we're very fortunate to have her. We also have the Law of One study group. And if any of you are familiar with that kind of work, that's a very profound work, the Law of One. Um, people like um, David, uh, what's his name? Wilcox. David Wilcox and so many others uh, refer to this law of one. I have done study to it. We had an anchoring light here once and the message Ensu Ra came in and that was in Portuguese, which I don't speak Portuguese. I am Ra. So uh, we have Clark Mumau who has studied this pro uh, profoundly and is dissecting this uh, great body of work as well. So that is what is available. But I'm so excited to tell you some things that are coming up. And uh, one is we do have coming up on February the 8th, the Luna uh, New Year of the Wood Dragon. Uh, we have Lori Pauly. Now, Lori Pauly has owned the Chicago Feng Shui School for over 20 years. I mean, if you want to get your house feng shui or anything about feng shui, she's the person. She's going to, we've had her here before, set what's happening for 2024 particularly for your sign, uh, what you can do in your home and your environment to uh, enhance the, um, the energies of um, uh, coming in, particularly that uh, welcoming the gods of wealth to your doorstep. That's really nice. So, and also you'll get to find out what your, um, what your uh, animal, your animal, Chinese animal is. Mine is a dragon, so I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to this year. <laughs> Then we have, and I want to just take a moment to tell you guys about this, uh, Ken Lloyd. And some of you know, Ken has been very much a part. Thank you so much. Uh, Ken Lloyd has been very much a part this past year of the Cosmic Center. Um, actually, really through a dream, I was told to help him. So I did. And he's getting ready now to go on his global mission of healing. Uh, all healers are very good, you know, we're on our way, but he has, I guess, what's going to be a new frequency of healing coming in. And um, he's going to be doing a free lecture, as he always does, because everybody gets access to it now. But now he has a radius of eight feet. So just come in with the Hindus will call Shakti. You know, you come into somebody's presence. Some of us have that, too, but his is very large. And so activations, healings, whatever may happen. So the free lecture will include that. And he's going to share, okay, his story, which I was witness to from the time he started to where he is now. I did see the transformation. He did say that he was told that he was going to be healing thousands of people at a time. And I see that happening now. It's just amazing, the story. But anyway... He's going to be here from 11 to 13th, and on the 11th, which is a Sunday, we have the flyers up there, 
he'll be here at 7 p.m. It's Sunday, February 11th at 7 p.m. He'll be doing that free lecture. He's going to tell you what has happened to him since he first came here. Uh, and then on the 13th, Tuesday the 13th, he's going to do a group healing, in-person group healing. I would encourage you definitely, if you can, to be a part of that. And private sessions, they're not like they used to be, but <laughs> they are available, very limited. So the availability to have a private reading with him now is becoming very, very less and less and less. But, but he will do, um, he has a couple of slots open. So all you need to do is go on to our, if you would click here, kenloydofficial.com, C-C-O-S-L, or go on to our calendar events, the Cosmic Center calendar of events for February 11th. You'll see all the information there and you can register and sign up. Uh, the next thing I want to bring to your attention is, let's see, on the 16th, we have a visiting astrologer. Her name is Mei Ling, and she does the Vedic astrology. It's not just mm -hmm. all Vedic. She, does, she, she mixes both the Vedic and Western astrology together. Uh, she does a lot of the big CEOs in New York and actresses and all that kind of thing. But anyhow, she has a discounted prices for us at Cosmic Center. She has a half hour reading. And she has an hour reading, and that's going to be on Friday, February 16th. She'll be here all day, so all you have to do is go ahead and sign up to get a reading, and she'll do that. She's particularly very good in relationships with children and parents. That's one of her specialties. And then, and there's more. I am so excited. I am so excited to tell you. Sarah Brexman Cosme is going to be here for three days at the Cosmic Center. Now, who is Sarah? Uh, Brexman Cosme. Honestly, I didn't recognize the name, but I've, uh, thousands and thousands of people know who she is because she does exactly what Dolores Cannon does. So Dolores Cannon, as you might know, died two years ago. And for those of you not familiar with Dolores Cannon, she was able to tap into this part of the unconscious, okay, where because we're multidimensional beings. We're tapping too much. Blood. So they got to this point that pierced through all lifetimes, all of that, tapped into this all-knowing part. Or you can say the Akashic Records, maybe. That might be what they call it. And what was interesting is, like, there might have been a particular theme. So she would have, like, different clients, but are all carrying on the same story, you know, to tell her. She's written many books. If you're not familiar with Dolores Cannon, Google her and see who she is and what she's able to do. She's a pretty big deal. So this lady, Sarah Brexman Cosme, which the ticket's already going, she just mentioned she was going to be here. So I want to say if anybody wants to see her, get your tickets. Sarah Brexman Cosme um, is going to bring clips, which she has with the permission, of course, of her clients that are totally unconscious. Just and talking about Atlantis, about what was going on. Like this is all verifiable because it's not just one client. It's the other ones that confirm to say, yes, da 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 So she's going to do a talk on March 1st. Do you remember Atlantis? And then on March 2nd, and I told her this would be the place where she could do this. She says, well, you know, I'm writing these new books, but you know, a lot of it is revolving around extraterrestrials. I said, you got the right place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, really, I said, you could be free and talk whatever you want, okay? You, she was so excited. She yeah. is so excited to come yeah. to the Cosmic Center. And she has a books about that. So this is recent information, okay? You know, since Dolores Cannon has died, this is current information that she's able to do. And I was going to say, if you want to get a group regression, a group regression, Okay, uh, I would recommend definitely let Sarah do the group regression. So she's going to have a group past life regression insight into your other lives on March 3rd, 7 to 9 p.m. So, yes, yeah, so it's kind of a big yeah. deal. And yeah. I've seen her on Gaia TV and she's amazing. Yeah, she's on Gaia TV. Gaia yeah, TV, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm here. She says she's um, uh, she is Sarah's a master hypnotist, a level three practitioner of Dolores Cannon's QHHT and a student of Dr. Brian Weiss. Her work is now featured internationally on programs such as Fade to Black 
back with Jimmy Church, Coast to Coast AM, and Gaia TV. Yeah, so look her up. You can look at search and look for her old shows and pull it up. And see. Yes, you can see what, what she has see done. She and uh, But also, I'm really um, excited about um, seeing the clips, you know, that you can see with her. So she said she was going to do that uh, and stuff. And yeah, she did uh, broad. Mm -hmm. And I do mean broad. I had a question. I said, oh, I have to give you insights about that, Cheryl Elizabeth. <laughs> you know, but a broad knowledge because you're tapping into this higher part. So very, very mm -hmm. exciting. That's going to be coming up. So just go into our <clears throat> website or YouTube channel. And remember, we have all these resources together. I want to thank everybody for coming. As the Ascendant Masters say, thank you for showing up because it is a choice, you know, but uh, most certainly as we choose to walk our path of light, there are so many blessings. Just, I, I feel so blessed just to be able to have an awareness of this knowledge. Look at all the people who don't have a clue. Look what's going on with them. They don't have a clue. And you just look at them. Just the ascended masters must have looked at us and said we have to wait. You know, come with compassion and unconditional love. That's our role that we're to do now. Coming from compassion, unconditional love. We do have a... Um, a donation basket there and we also can go on ccosl.com forward slash um donation or just go on our website you will see a donation page thank you to all of you that do give um pledges every month and we're going to have an announcement soon we won't be seeing ken as much anymore but we do have a continued relationship with him and he's always supported the Cosmic Center. So we have some news about that coming down the pipe. With that, I'm gonna say namaste. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.